All right, guys, this is the walk around video for the 1982 240D. And please make sure you go to the website, woodsandbarclay.com, and it has the full video that does the undercarriage inspection uh, and shows you everything under the car and everything that's been done to the car. Uh, so please go to the website, woodsandbarclay.com, and you'll see all of that. Uh, so as far as the walk around video, you can see how nice the paint came out after we it was uh, wet, sanded, and buffed, and this paint came out awesome. Uh, now this appears to be original paint, so yeah, there's a few little blemishes here and there. Looks like there's maybe a little cloudy mark right there. Uh, but other than that. This came out absolutely beautiful. This car has, let's look at the mileage real quick. Yeah, 111,000 miles on it. And I actually got this car from a, a customer who purchased a wagon from me last year. And he actually drove this down to pick up the wagon and asked me if I wanted to buy his 240D. I said, sure, super nice car. And uh, they did a tremendous amount of work on it. Uh, there was not much I had to do to it. Like I said, we wet sanded, buffed it, and I did some, uh, fix some of the trim pieces on the interior. I'll show you that. And I think there was a possible repaint on uh, this back area here, because I can see right there, there's a little, little spot where the clear coat it looks like some clear coat has started to peel back there but that did not justify me repainting this entire car because this paint is looks absolutely great bumpers tail lights no cracks bumpers are really nice I just washed it so it's got some water spots on it. There we go. Yeah, that came out really, really nice. All the chrome is beautiful. Now I'm in direct sunlight so you guys can see the reflection of the trees and clouds. I mean, the paint really came out great. And on the video on the website, you actually see the car in the detail shop where that is being, uh, the wet sand and buff is being done. Hubcaps look great. <laughs> Front bumper, chrome, headlight, bezels, trim. Let's look at the chrome here. All of that is also in great condition. Now I'm in direct sunlight, so there might be some shadows. Sorry about that. Um, also, look how bright the blue is on the Mercedes emblem. And you see the white here? That looks, looks really good. That's worn off on a lot of cars. And again, the chrome on the grill is great. looks really good let's show you the interior uh, I'll show you some the work that I did on the interior I replaced all of the B pillar trim or the B pillar piping so you can see the there are no rips or tears in the B pillar piping because all of that has been replaced from uh, new old stock pieces Mercedes pieces here we go let's get in here there we go you can see how that's all been replaced uh, while I'm back here in the back, seat back next, nets are not ripped or sagging. Um, I also, this trim piece here was missing and I ordered one on eBay from Germany and replaced this trim piece here. Let's see, there was a crack in the original map pocket. Uh, there was a crack right here, so I got a new old stock uh, map pocket not new but old stock 
uh, pulled it from a good door panel from in my parts stash so it's no cracks tears rips anything in the map pocket that's been that's been fixed I uh, let's push push that piece back in there um, this is the panel has all been out and I've replaced the cruise control module, uh, a module. I also replaced the cruise control actuator under the hood and I actually pulled out, uh, you can see right there, the lip sticking out a little bit where I pulled out the gauge cluster and plugged back in the speed sensor that was unplugged. So I had to do all that to get the cruise control to work perfect on it. And again, that works. I uh, ordered the cruise control module from Beckman Technologies. Seats are in fantastic condition. Sorry for the shadow. Like I said, I'm in direct sunlight. Here we go. That's better. So you can see it's got a little bit of pink amino, which is, you know, that's pretty normal on these cars. The bolsters fade at a different rate than the interior, but uh, no rips, tears in the seats. Seats in fantastic condition. Headliner also excellent condition this this is an outstanding car head rests everything looks really good let's go ahead and sit down in here and look at the dash look at that dash now i'm going to get it back out of the sunlight and park it back under my uh detailing and wash tent so this sunlight is not getting on this dash because as you can see that's a perfect dash with no cracks in it which is awesome there's the uh, the 240D idle control, which works. Uh, the wood trim is in excellent condition. And there is actually the original radio uh, that was in the trunk. Came with the car. But in here, there's been a nice installation of a uh, JVC with, uh, with Bluetooth. Here's your little Bluetooth speaker, I mean microphone right here. And uh, that kind of works nice, uh, so I left that in here because, you know, hopefully somebody's going to be driving this car and use the Bluetooth. But if you want to plug in the original radio, it's right there. Um, the center uh, wood got a couple of cracks in it, but that's the original piece. Um, they all they look funny if you if you send them off and have them re-veneered. It doesn't look correct. I wanted to leave the original piece in here. Uh, and I, I decided not to sand it down and recoat it uh, just because of the originality. I, li I like that original piece that has not been tampered with. You can see nothing in here has been, has been tampered with. Uh, all the AC controls, all of this stuff works. It's got a new AC dryer, AC uh, compressor. All of that's been replaced. And <laughs> what's interesting is the owner had this little uh, car maintenance log book. So in this log book, he has the date and everything that was done on the car by date. Let's see if we can look at some of this. Throttle bushing, AC receiver, dryer, valve gasket. That's where a new thermostat. New t oh, look at that, wow. New timing chain plus tensioner. That's odd. To, to <laughs> This car only has 111,000 miles on it. I guess they were just trying to be proactive. That's awesome. Uh, wow. New, what does that say? New center tie rod. Oh, new tie rod assembly. New steering damper. Left and right control arm bushing. Man, these guys went, you can see all this in the other video. I had not seen this when I made that other video. And now this makes sense because I named all that new stuff when I actually did my inspection. Oh, the windows were tinted and I actually removed the tint on the windows to put it back to factory original. Uh, the car did have tinted windows. New primer pump, new radiator, new blower control switch. New struts, uh, no, no, new shocks, Bilstein's before. I mean, just tons of stuff. New shifter boot, new uh, cocoa mat. So it didn't come with the cocoa pat mats. I guess he kept those. Uh, uh, oh, new Hella headlights. Nice. New vacuum connectors. 
new trunk vacuum actuator. Um, man, all this stuff was like done in the last two years. That's why there's not many videos on this car because I didn't have to really do much. Um, okay, new vacuum door actuators. I can't really read that. New vacuum lock, check, new check valve. So that's related to the vacuum system that's been gone through. New drive shaft flex joints, transmission mount, uh, new differential mount. And again, I point all this out in the video, the other video. Um, new vacuum actuator, three way valve. Just tons of, tons of care. Ton, they were really taking new heater valve. New front brake discs, new lower, new ball joints, new clutch, awesome. New slave cylinder, awesome. So, man, this, this car it was really, really cared for. That comes with the car with all the log books. I mean, I'm sorry, all of the factory manuals. It's all in there. There's the cruise control guide. It's all in there. Um, let's look up here. Visors interior light uh what's cool about this car is it's obviously the crank windows uh so i don't need to show that the windows work because those will literally work until the end of time <laughs> let's pop the hood here yeah so really 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 awesome condition car i mean the previous owner clearly cared about it and really really took care of it um let me set the phone down here and open the hood and there you go Look how nice that is. All the cadmium plating here. This was actually a part uh, I had on a parts car. I replaced this uh, cruise control actuator because it was the original was not working. So this is working now. And uh, that's where I see all the new vacuum lines they were referring to. There's the three-way, there's the valve there. Looks like they put a new bushing in here, throttle bushing. All the cadmium plating is, is beautiful. I can see there was some polishing done on the valve cover too. Yeah, that's a little shinier than normal. So that's that's been, I guess they cleaned that up. Um, I can see, looks like new rubber was put here on the master cylinder. That's where the reservoir plugs in. Also see where this uh, uh, slave cylinder line was replaced. Just everything was covered on this car. There's uh, the hood pad course that's new looks really really nice under here um, brand new radiator that's a bare radiator new thermostat you can see how clean it is down here too let's see if we can get a here we go it's not all caked over and and grime and and grease that's super clean and you can't see it but that's a new compressor like I said you can see all that in the other video of the uh, the undercarriage video no chips or pitting on the rear view mirrors get my water marks off here i just washed it and i didn't use windex on the windshield there we go so over here what i also did is there was a tear in the original wind lace there was a tear right there and i had a buddy up in maryland who actually had uh, an old stock piece of wind lace and I changed that. So there is no longer a tear in the wind lace. All the B-pillar piping is perfect. Um, here we go. See the condition of the carpets, the seats. A little mark in the seat right there. But hey, 1982, what are you going to do? All the rubber too, the, the gaskets around the doors flexible excellent condition no issues with any of that uh, the doors shut very well the little rubber pieces are still intact on the strikers look how the door shuts shuts really good you don't have to slam them yeah really good condition uh, nets on the back still good not all sagging I think the first aid kit is back here. Oh, there's the famous first aid kit. <laughs> the light works back here. 
headliner. Everything works on this car. I spent a lot of time going through everything, making sure everything was perfect and working. Uh, rear package tray looks really good. Let's look in the trunk here. Trunk is really clean, looks good. I bet you the original tool kit is in here. Yep, there's the original tool kit, the original spare, the original jack. It's all here. Looks good all in here. Yeah. Uh, the gasket around the trunk still seals correctly. Still in good condition, not ripped and torn up. Very good. So yeah, this is a very nice 240D. Let's go ahead and fire it up. All right. Push the clutch in. And all right, you can see the engine's cold because I just backed it out of the garage. Uh, so let me fire it up. Oh, let me show you the glow plugs. There's the glow plug light comes on, goes off, fires right up, full oil pressure. Now, I can actually adjust the idle here. So if you turn it clockwise, I don't know if you guys can hear that, the idle has now gone down. And when you idle it too low, it'll start vibrating a little bit. So I always like to adjust it. You gotta push the gas just a little bit as you turn it. There we go. I like it right there. It's idling super smooth. Um, I wonder if you guys can hear the AC. You hear it blowing there. The AC works fantastic. It's got a new AC on the, on the vehicle, all new AC components. So let's put the... Uh, do the blow-by test and like I said that blow-by test really doesn't mean that much guys but everybody wants to see it so we'll do it there we go guys no blow-by on this engine This is a low mileage engine guys, so it's not gonna have any blow by on it. But like I said, that test really is not that important. You can see how smooth the engine is. There she is, all, all 72 horsepower I think these were. That's why I gotta get the four speed because you can actually drive them faster than the automatics. But anyway, let's uh, pull this back under. Let's pull this back under the uh, tent over here. Back under the detail tent, because I don't want anything to, I don't want this dash to get hot out here in the sun, you know? Okay, guys, sorry, I forgot to show you the uh, vacuum locks on this car. Now, notice the car is turned off. Uh, so, just to show you that it holds a vacuum, I just press the lock there, and we can see how the other door is locked. So, it, it, it holds a nice vacuum even when the car is off. We'll unlock it, and you can see all the locks come up. So, just wanted to, uh, just wanted to show you that. Forgot to show it a second ago. There we go. There's where I was just washing it, but there she is, guys. This is a gorgeous 240D. I have to take my uh, license plate off. I don't know, guys. Actually, I want my plate back because it's hard to get those things, you know. But uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful car. So anyway, it uh, should be on the website now if you're watching this video. And uh, let me move all my car wash equipment out of here and get it back under the tent. And uh, guys, this is a nice 240D. It's fully sorted. Everything's been done. The next maintenance you will need to do is the oil change and 3,000 miles. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time.